my man, my man Ice, he tells me, yo, Pete, apply for the Department of Transportation. They don't care about you. And this is a, Pete, is, is Pete a brother from jail? Oh, uh, ice, ice, uh, is ice. You pee. I'm bugging. Yeah. Is ice uh, 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 a Another brother? A brother from jail. You know what I'm saying? So he's part of the yeah. clique, right? So he says, yeah. That's we gotta touch on that too because my group, the ones that are out here, we 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 have a our own little semi support group. Yeah. We we meet we, we meet with each other constantly. We help each other out with jobs, with with anything, you know, financially, whatever. But. Uh, Ice hit me up, he said, yo, Pete, apply for this. He says, they don't care about your background, but you need a CDL. So I said, all right, cool. So I looked up CDL schools, and they had one in Long Island. And I, 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 I ain't going to front out like chucha because I wasn't working. So the, 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 the school was uh, $8,500. So I said, man, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be rough for me, $8,500, yeah. you know, and I was struggling, but I said, I'm going to have to scrape it up because this could help me. So I wound up going into school. I did a couple of months there, but I learned how to drive everything with wheels from an 18 wheeler to a plow truck, you know? Yeah. And I got my CDL class A. And when I got that, I started actually working for Coca-Cola. And I was working for Coca-Cola. I worked for Coca-Cola for a little over a year. And don't say I got a call from the Department of Transportation. And they said, yo, uh, you still want to work? You know, work for us? And I, I said, I said, hell yeah. Even though I got paid twice as much as Coca-Cola, working for the state, the, the benefits and everything, you know, I weigh the pros with the cons, you know, and I said... It was worth it. It was worth it. So I, I switched to the state, and I... And, and you're you still there to this day. I stood there to this day. I've been there three years, a little over, and yeah, I got no complaints, bro. Yeah. State employee, después, después from my beginning, I'm a state employee now, you know what I'm That's saying? That's fucking beautiful, bro. Um, let's, let's touch on the click that you talk about, and the... Um, the parties that you throw every year, twice a year in the summer, because now, because now, you know, we already talk about jail. We spoke. Yeah. We, 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 let's talk about where we at now. Now, state employee. State employee. Married, beautiful woman. Church. Ma married. Got your you know, house. I got my house. I'm married to a beautiful Christian woman. Uh, she's. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You know. God, she got put in my path by God. You know, that's the only way I can see it because she's straight up church. And uh, she, ain't, she don't know shit about jail. She don't know shit about jail. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, all, all her life is just working and going to school. That's she a holds, blessing, bro. She holds a master's degree in clinical education. She's a registered nurse. And she used to teach at the college. What's her, what's her name? Her, her name is uh, Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> That's my baby. Wendy, you know shout out to you, baby. Shout out, shout out, out to you, Wendy. Because yeah. this man this man has been through a lot. Yeah. 32 years. Uh, That's what? More than half his life. Um, It's just a, it's just a, a blessing, bro. And, and this is why, you know, I wanted to sit down with you. Yeah. This is why, you know, I welcomed your brother because, he, you know, he went, through his, he, he went through his time as well, you yeah. know. I know it sucks when he got locked up, like, damn, my little brother, you know, because yeah. you can't protect him. You're not there with him. So now you got this, like, man, I hope he learned <laughs> all the beatdowns I gave him. I, I hope it made him stronger. But, um. I was if I to believe you, tell you the truth, was vice versa. It would beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, nah. let's touch, let's touch on, uh, you know, but like, like, again, man, it's a blessing, bro, that, that you are where you are now. And um, hey, I tried to help you though. God yeah, damn it, background yeah, check, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk about um, how that click that you talk about all the time, yeah. that you talk to me about, um, that y'all, how y'all, because it's technically like the way alcoholics and, and drug addicts and they, they stick together. You know, hey, yes. let's help each other. Let's, yeah. Don't pick up, you know, yeah. you know, put that beer down. But this is different. You guys. You, you, and, and 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 your brothers from jail, the ones that are free, you know, y'all stay together. Y'all support each other. Yeah. You know, you throw a party every year in your house, pool party, barbecue. Um, you know, come come share what I got. Um, and then the ones that are inside, you know, I'm pretty sure you still got friends inside. You got friends inside. You take care of them. It could be twenty dollars. It could be fifty dollars or whatever it is a month. A letter, a picture. Yeah. Uh, in contact with their mom. 
Like that is real fucking loyalty, bro. Yeah. And I, I, like I said, I've never experienced that. Um, I got friends I grew up with that I'm loyal to, but for for you to take that trauma, because it's fucking trauma, bro. Yeah. Even the story with the fucking kid getting raped and in, in, in fucking Elmira, like that's that's trauma, bro. Like 17, 18, 19 years old, that's fucking trauma. And now y'all grown men still sticking together, yeah. holding each other down. You even told me one of your brothers came home, didn't have nowhere to stay. Yeah. If you, you paroled him to your house. Yeah, he's still paroled to my house. He's still paroled to your still house. He's paroled to my house. He's doing good things. If you want to you know, yeah, uh, just, give him a shout out. Yeah, my man Tato, you know, that's my brother. And, and to you. yeah, he came home and, you know, he, he ain't had a place to stay. I got him paroled to my house because I'm not in, on the parole no more, you know. So I paroled him to my house and he started going to school. He just recently, he just recently finished school and he's actually a, a peer counselor. And he came out in the news recently because, you know, he You showed show yeah, me the video. That yeah, was dope. you know, he works for a, a, a new company out of Brooklyn and he's a peer counselor and a drug addiction counselor. And he's doing good, but he's still paroled to my house, you know what I'm saying? And I hold him down until he get on his feet because, yo, that's what we do. If we don't hold each other down, yo, ain't nobody gonna do it for us, you know? Yo, that's that's fucking beautiful, bro. Like I've never, I've never heard of anything like that. Yeah. Like I, I, if that, let's say, let's say your wife was was my mom, like or my sister. I'm like, what the fuck you bringing a fucking <laughs> jail nigga to this fucking house? I'm yeah. just, it's natural reaction. Yeah. Like what the fuck? But the fact that she, like you said, fucking, she's in your corner holding you down. Yeah. And, and I'm pretty sure she's she's trusting your judgment. Yeah. And she's trusting the fact that, you know what, babe, if this is what God wants you to do, this is what we're going to do. That's her That's her, her outlook on everything, bro. For her, she believes anything that happens is God's, God's a, 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 a will. So when I told her, I said, listen, you know, eh, está saliendo, he don't got a place to stay. We got to hold him down to get it on his feet. That's her, real, bro. Her answer to me was, well... If you got to do that, then that's what God wants you to do. No hesitation. No hesitation whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I love that about her. And that's why I say, yo, to me, she's a gift from God. Because from my past and everything I've done, everything I've been through, to get a woman like that, I say, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't by chance. I, Let I me ask you a question. Because this, this just, it just fucking hit yeah. me. How? Do you t how do you talk to a woman like 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 your wife, and tell her I've been in jail fucking thirty two years, you know I've hurt people I've how does she the first date like I don't know when the, this fucking conversation happened, yeah. but when do you say yeah I'm a fucking criminal like yeah. I'm a fucking gangster I I've hurt people I yeah. fucking killed people like what yeah. the I, what the I'm running like I'm out of here yo <laughs> how does she ex accept yo, that the 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 funny part is. When I first met my wife, right, her little sister's married to my cousin. Okay. You know, I told you I got some cousins in, in Long Island. So I met her sister, and I met her dad, and, and I got cool with both her sister and her dad and everything before I met her. When I met her, she was actually in a relationship. She ain't paid me no mind. She knew nothing about me, but I looked at her, and I said, Coño, I think this is the one. So after, after you know, uh, uh, I met her, I ain't see her for a while, but I kept asking my cousin, yo, how's, so, how's so Wendy? Shorty, yo. Oh, how's Wendy? How's Wendy? <laughs> and my cousin was like, oh, she's okay. I, I see him again. Yo, what's up? Yo, how's Wendy? How's Wendy? Oh, she's okay. But so come on, like seven months, and one day I say, yo, how's Wendy? Oh, she's okay. And then she said, oh, she's a little stressed out. And I said, why? She said, oh, you know, she broke up. Well, man, I said, when? He said, like seven months ago. And I said, nigga, you telling me now? <laughs> and he's looking at me like, oh, he says, why? And I said, yo. And he says, oh, you like Wendy? I said, why the hell you think I'm asking you all every fucking time I see you? I'm asking you for her. <laughs> and, and like the light bulb went off. And he said, oh. So I said, yo, you know, I want to talk to her. So me being old school, believe it or not, I actually talked to her sister first, which was my cousin wife. And I said, yo, you know, because they knew my past. Yeah. Wendy didn't. So I said, you know, I would like to talk to her with all respect if it ain't going to bother you. And I told her father the same thing. And they knew me, even though they knew my past, they knew me now. Wow. And they said, yo, go for it. 
So my cousin, Tanya, actually did like a little, a little, you know, party though. So we all got there and they made sure they invited Wendy. So when when we was playing dominoes and when she was gonna go home, I followed her outside. I said, yo, listen, you know, I, I wanna I wanna take you out. I still wasn't working yet. So I said, listen, I wanna take you out. Let me take you out. I said, I ain't got no money, but I could get you like an ice cream. <laughs> you being serious. <laughs> I said, I ain't got no money. I'll get you an ice cream and shit, you know what I'm saying? And we could just walk and talk, you know what I'm saying? For you could get to know me. And and she she told me, uh, well, I got to tell you, you know, I, I, I'm not really like that, you know. I, I, I'm all about the church and all that, so it all depends. You want to go out with me? Why? What's your intention? Because I, I don't party and, and I'm all God, God. God is my first. So I said, that's all right. And I said, I, said, uh, I want to go out with you because you're going to be my wife. And she says, ah, oh, this motherfucker's crazy. Wow. That's what she said. She said, ah, tipo está loco, right? And I said, yo, I'm serious. I'm serious. And she wound up letting me take her out. But she was thinking I was, I was crazy. But I told her, but yo, I'm at that age. I knew what I wanted. And I knew she was it. And I, <laughs> you can see I married her, you know? So I wasn't bugging. I wasn't crazy. You know, I married her, you know? Hey, man, that's a, that's, yeah. a, that's a blessing, bro. But, um, yo, you know what? You, you, you... Like I said, when we started, thank you for your time. That's number one. Yeah. You know, thank you for your time. Uh, when I started this two years ago, you know, I, I, I wanted to do things like this, you know, make yeah. it, put it out there. You know, I don't, I, my, none of my interviews are about negativity. You know, n none of my interviews are, are about, you know, bullshit. You know, it's, I want to send a message. In your case, the message is, they gave me life in prison. You know what? And how, how they say in Spanish, te pagaron. Yeah. You know what? And look where you are now, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, you 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 helping people. You helping. You know, your 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 your. Your, your I'm pretty sure. You know, your family. Your your brother's happy for you. You know, uh, your comrades that are here outside. You know, you guys are sticking together like family because you are family. Yeah. Even though you're not blood, but you know what? You 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 guys went through traumas at fucking 16, 17, 18, Rikers Island, and y'all formed a brotherhood. And you know the fact that you support your brothers that are outside and inside, yo, you doing the right thing, bro. So you know, like you said, don't 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 ever you know let anyone tell you that that you know you're a fucking criminal. You know you did that. That that's I'm not I'm, what I am now is what is gonna make who you are right now, you know what I'm saying? And and for the kids that are out there, yo, you know, don't don't do this. This is, you know, I'm pretty sure you 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 wanna mm. clarify that to the kids. Like, bro, don't do this. And for the and and for guys coming home, yeah. They might not know you, you know, uh, you know, you, you what kind of word you know you, you got for them. Like for 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 guys coming home from 25, 10, whatever, and they not part of your clique. What what you know, and then we're gonna wrap it up after this. What what advice do you have for them if they feel like they're coming home to, to loneliness and to no to no support? Stick to your guns. You know what I'm saying? Come home. It ain't gonna be easy in the beginning, but you can't let the 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 tough moments define the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? Take those little moments and say, yo, if I've been through this for ten years. I can go through two or three weeks or two or three months on a rough patch until my motherfucking feet hit solid ground. And remain positive. And remain positive. Remain clean, because that P.O. would yeah. throw your ass back in there. Yeah, and, and and the outcome is is worth it. Look at me now, bro. I've been here five years. I own my own home. I got statue. I own a truck, a car, a motorcycle. I got a beautiful wife. I do my pool parties, barbecue pool parties two, three times a year for all my And brothers. you could buy a lot of ice cream. And I could buy a lot of ice cream, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that's how we're gonna end it, baby. Uh, that's it, people. Live with Ab 5. I ain't gotta say no more. <laughs> Live with Ab 5, baby. We did it. Thank you, Pito. Peace. Thank you, Eddie. We out of here. Right. Peace. <laughs> That was great, bro. <laughs> that was fucking amazing.